We're just chilling. We've been walking like all day. My friends are sitting over there. They're reading. And I'm trying to put some stuff into my art journal. And I just like drew what we did so far today. But I wanted to show you guys what I brought with me to like travel with and all the art supplies I brought with me. <laughs> so I have this huge bag with all my stuff. But then I also have my pencil case. This I got from a stationery store when I visited Japan. And this is the brand, if anyone's curious. And in here, I brought a bunch of different stuff. It holds a lot. So, well, first it's a paintbrush because I brought my watercolor set, but I don't have that with me right now. And I like this pencil case because... The, oops. Because of this. It is really cool, it holds so many pens, so I brought um, I brought my Micron pen and I also brought my favorite colored pencils. I condensed it down to like 12 of my favorite colors. Let's take them out. These are all the ones I brought. They're all pink and green because those are my favorite colors. Eraser little mini pencil sharpener, obviously. And then I brought a bunch of different gray liners so I could shade in my stuff in my art journal. And then lastly, I have in here a couple pencils. And I wish I brought with me my, I wish I brought with me like a little watercolor sketchbook because that would be really fun. But yeah, I'm gonna sit in the grass for a little bit. It's such a beautiful day out right now. And I'm going to shade in my drawings in my journal. And yeah, I've never really done a travel like drawing comic thing. So I'm really enjoying it. And that is my day so far. <laughs> Who? Hey, I was going to play music, but I'm feeling very chatty tonight, and I have like so much to tell you guys, I think. I hope you liked the mini San Francisco montage. I used to love making little videos like that. I think some of them are actually still on my channel from years ago if you want to do a little stalking. I feel so old saying that. Anyway, hello. I hope you had a lovely February. This trip was such a nice break from work and I was starting to feel a little bit burnt out like from girl bossing all of January and February and taking a few days off was much needed. And it also left me feeling very inspired as you see. I took so many inspo photos to draw, but yes. We met up with some of our friends who live in San Diego and maybe I'm romanticizing a little bit, but I love this trip so much. Like as an East Coast gal, I really appreciated the slow chillness of the West Coast. And I don't know, I've always dreamed of living on the West Coast. So it, this was like a really good time. And we did a bunch of stuff. We went to Napa Valley, we ate a bunch of food, 
We went biking on Angel Island, where, like we took the ferry over there and it was really nice. And we ate a lot more food. And I met my first online art friend at Made by Chanamon and her amazing dog, Whiskey. You guys saw them in the clip before. It is that little cute dog with the goggles. Freaking amazing. And we had a really great chat about taking the leap from being a part to full-time artist. She recently did that. By the way, her stickers and cards are very cute. I definitely recommend you check her out. But talking to someone who is in the art community and has been through similar things as me was very reassuring. Like, I don't hate or love my day job and I'm very grateful to even have a job out of college. But I've always wanted to be an artist ever since I was little and I never thought I would be doing YouTube and art. Like, so I never really thought it was possible. And knowing myself, it's going to be really hard for me to take that risk to being a full-time artist and losing that safety net. And not that I would do that anytime soon, but I feel like I have so many plans for my art and my YouTube channel, but just not enough time to execute it. But yeah, if anyone has any thoughts or experiences on this, please leave a comment. I would love to hear your thoughts. And also while we're drawing in my little moleskin journal, I wanted to say that I don't know why I didn't journal earlier. Like I'm beating myself up for it. Like, oh my God, it's really made me more introspective into my own mind. Like I literally have zero thoughts in my brain. But then when I journal, I'm like, wow, I have so much that I want to talk about right now to myself and I want to write down. And I just feel more creative and I really wish I just journaled through my teen years. Like, I really want to know what I was thinking back then. Um, and it's also nice to write down where I went and also the places I ate because I have the worst memory ever and I would never remember it in a million years. So it's really nice to write it down. And I just love this journal. Seriously, it's a moleskin journal. It's like the mini size. And I think it's just like part of my brand now. Like, this little yellow journal is is me it is me um but yeah i can experiment with a bunch of different mediums here i'm using these posca markers that i haven't touched in forever and i will say a con though is that this paper is very thin so i wouldn't recommend it for like painting and it even the posca markers the paper gets kind of warped a bit um but you know that's okay um, yeah, next time I would definitely go for a thicker paper, but it works really well for pencils and colored pencils. But yes, art journaling has become one of my favorite things, and I just finished drawing my February reading wrap-up, if you guys wanted to see that. Anyway, I think those are all my thoughts for now, for this voiceover, until the next voiceover. I'll let you watch me draw some nice landscapes and some bunnies. And you know what? I'm gonna say if you like art and you like reading and you like having fun and you aren't subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? Uh, subscribe. I would love to have you here, seriously. Okay, <laughs> I think that's it. Um, don't forget to stick around if you wanna see my San Francisco book haul after this little art clip. Um, we're gonna change the channel and we're gonna do a little book haul because we went to some really cool bookstores and I bought so many books. And I just wanna show you guys, like a little show and tell, who doesn't like that? Okay, bye. Hello, we are in the reading chair now. We're in the chatty, chatty reading chair. If 
I'm in this chair, you know, I'm gonna talk about some books. And we're gonna talk about some books because I got so many while I was in San Francisco because there's so many good bookstores there. Here is my pile of books. And you know, let's just get into the book haul. This one is Conversations on Love by Natasha Lunn. I brought this with me and it was part of my February love reads and I am not done with it yet but it is such a good book. It is a nonfiction book and the author Natasha Lunn interviews a bunch of different people and gets their perspective on love and not just romantic love, also like platonic love, love with your family, etc. So have been really enjoying it. I have tabbed it like every page and I love it. And didn't get to finish it before February ended, but still a really good read. And then when I got back, there are a couple little free libraries in my neighborhood. And sometimes when I go on my coffee walk, I like to check them out, see if there's anything in there. And this time I hit the jackpot. Um, I found this hardcover book. I haven't heard of it until I saw it and the cover like really stood out to me. Um, so I picked it up and it is Love in Color. And these are mythical tales from around the world retold. It's the author's debut novel. And I've never read a short story collection before. The author focuses on retelling mythology and stories from West Africa, the Middle East, and what else? Stories from long erased places. So I am very excited to read this and this was such a good find, especially a hardcover book. I'm gonna have to donate to that little library eventually. I have a couple books that I don't wanna keep in my collection, so I might be doing that soon. There were so many nice bookstores there. We probably went to around five bookstores. I didn't get stuff from everyone, but I did get a good chunk of my books from two bookstores. So the first one I got a couple books from was City Lights Booksellers. So I wanted to get books that were already on my to be read list. First book I got at City Lights was 1984 by George Orwell. Um, you know, classic dystopian novel. And I've been trying to read more classics. And this is one of the ones I read in high school that like I dreaded reading. So I wanted to see how my perspective changed on it. And you know, there's so many references to this book and I just wanted to join the club. The books I got from there. The first one is Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami. And after reading Kafka on the Shore, I am ready to dive in to my second Murakami book. Yes, I will black out the parts where he <laughs> writes woman terribly. Um, no idea what Norwegian Wood is about, but you know, I think I'm gonna go on a trip with this one and yeah, picked it up. And I also, there was this really cute bookstore in Japantown that had a bunch of used books and they had a copy of IQ84 by, um, Murakami, but I could not put that large book into my carry-on bag back home So I decided not to get it and I was like I already got 1984 I think I am good on the dystopian books for now and then the last book I got from City Lights was Play As It Lays by Joan Didion the icon legend herself and I've never read a book by her but all my friends tell me that her books are really great and this one is a ruthless dissection of American life in the late 1960s. Commotion for this cover, like anything with a bright pink cover, I am sold. Next bookstore we went to was called Dog Ear Books and that one was definitely my favorite. It was the first bookstore we went to and also had a really great selection of new books and used books. I don't know, the book gods were like on my side when I went there because all the books I were looking for were available as used copies. So, you know, we love a good book deal, okay? <laughs> they were all used price, so all these books were under $10, which was amazing. We have James Baldwin, The Fire Next Time. And this book I started reading, my friend had this when I visited her in San Diego a while back and I read like the first couple chapters but I wasn't able to finish it and I was really hooked. Um, and I've never read anything by James Baldwin. 
The Fire Next Time is a collection of two of his essays written a hundred years after the Emancipation Proclamation in like a letter style. I was reading the Goodreads review for this book and the first review said something along the lines of we read brings up experiences we never had. So yeah, the one of the reasons why I am looking forward to diving into James Baldwin. Next book I got was Pachinko by Min Jin Lee. Um, this one is a thick, thick book and I was looking for a nice long book to read. I feel like I've been reading some of my books really fast and I just need one that I can like stop and start for a long time. Um, I haven't read like a nice thick book like this since I read Dune. Um, so yeah, so Pachinko is a story of a Korean family in Japan. So it is giving love, it is giving sacrifice, it is giving ambition. Yeah. And then the last book I got from Dog Eared Books is On Earth, We're Briefly Gorgeous. First, that is a beautiful title. Like, I think about this title constantly. I repeat it in my head all the time. This is a novel by Ocean Wong. He is a Vietnamese American poet. On Earth, We're Briefly Gorgeous is a letter from a Vietnamese American son to his illiterate mother. And as a Vietnamese American myself, I feel like this book is going to make me cry. <laughs> Just judging from the cover, I feel like it's gonna make me cry. Like anything that has a cover of a black and white photo of people, like I know is gonna make me cry and I'm talking to you a little life. I haven't read it, but it has the same cover. I know that book is gonna make me cry too. But yeah, that is my book haul. At all these books, I really think there is a running theme <laughs> with these books. Maybe like a little bit sad, a little bit depressing maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I think after reading like all romantic books for February, my mind was like, I need something that's gonna make me devastated. So let me know if you read any of these. Thank you guys for watching to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the little travel montage, the art making, and the book content. The video was really everything I loved wrapped into one, so I hope you guys liked it. I really enjoyed making this video. And with that, expect the next couple of videos to be shop update related because I am getting into the thick of it now. Work has been kicking my butt lately, so I haven't been doing as much shop stuff, but we are plugging along slowly and I wanna make sure everything is beautiful and ready for all you guys. So yeah, expect some more shop stuff coming up. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.